Hey everyone, welcome back to Migatron. Today we've got something exciting for engineers, miners, and tech enthusiasts. The Migatron ZSB409A Safety Barrier. We'll be unboxing it, checking out its build, and giving you a first look at what makes this barrier so reliable. Let's dive in. All right, let's open this up and see what we got inside. Inside the box, we've got the ZSB409A safety barrier itself, which has an AI rating, is quite stunning. Here is the safe area where electricity goes in. And here is the hazardous area. The barrier limits the amount of electrical energy that can reach a hazardous area. Here is the user manual. The data sheet. A wiring diagram. Lastly, installation notes. Everything is packed securely, which is always a good sign for industrial grade equipment. First impressions, this barrier has a sturdy industrial grade design, which is perfect for demanding environments. The safety barrier is a three channel DC positive polarity Zener safety barrier for use in intrinsic safe safety applications. The three channel design has one 24 volt DC channel and two 10 volts DC channels. The barrier is compatible with Migatron's intrinsically safe ultrasonic sensors and combines all of the connections into one convenient package. The barrier provides for the safe operation of an intrinsically safe electrical apparatus installed in a hazardous gas or dust environment classified as zone 0, 1, 2, 20, 21, or 22 for ATEX, IECEX, and class 1, 2, or 3 for UL, CUL. The barrier is designed for easy installation onto standard 35 millimeter DIN rail and is fitted with an insulated wire for making the ground connection. Now let's quickly go over the key features. It's compact and robust design for various industrial applications. Space saving three channel design with IA rating. Reliable performance in harsh environments. This makes it an excellent choice for applications like mining, oil, and gas, and automated manufacturing. So there you have it, the unboxing and look at the Migatron ZSB409A safety barrier. If you're in need of a high performance safety barrier for industrial use, this is definitely one to consider. In our next video, we'll be testing the safety barrier in real world conditions. So stay tuned. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out. And drop your questions in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.